Hello and welcome to the show. Now this is not any normal Lancia Delta S4. This is the specifically tuned Jelly Girl that has the record for the lowest speed roll I have ever managed to do in a Forza game at about 14-15 miles an hour. That is not very quick at all. It does not take much to make this car roll over in the wet. So, the best idea that we came up with to use these cars for was to get over 20 of them and go racing, and not just any race. If you rolled the car, you were out. So, there was an element of caution involved. If you go maximum attack, you have such a high chance of rolling that you're likely to get in a lot of trouble. And especially when we come here to Brands Hatch, Turn 1, we were worried about Turn 1 causing all sorts of problems. And on this opening lap, a few cars were on the gravel. One car did go tumbling down <laughs> through that first quarter. Amazingly, though, we were expecting a lot more to go on a lap one. There are a lot of cars on two wheels, but only one actually tumbled out. I was leading the way. You can see there's a roller on the outside has gone over. There's just all manner of crashing as well. It's not just the rolling that is an issue because of the way the cars are set up. If they start bouncing, and especially with puddles and so on around, things can go all very wrong all very quickly. One car was trying to rejoin the track from an off and got the Lancia rolled over. Three cars were out before they'd even made it around turn three. That is the difficulty with uh, with driving these vehicles, and as I said, it's not just the rolling over that's a problem. On the most part, these drive fairly... they drive okay, uh, normally, if you like. You can just occasionally get them bouncing a little bit, and the second you start do getting them bouncing, you're in a bit of trouble. You see here, I mean, the cars will pick up onto three wheels the second you try and put the power down. This is a long corner as well that we were fearing there could be some issues. I led the pack around for our first lap, but uh, I was also the first one to have to experience turn one at full racing speeds, and I'm a long way on two wheels, as is a car behind. I lose my nice, I had a nice little cushion back to the cars behind, I lose it all, having to try and save that a roll. It's two wides at Druids, and then everything goes terribly, terribly wrong for me. I'm stuck on the outside, I get on two wheels, and there's the cars on the inside sort of bumped together. The Black Lancia gets underneath me, and I get tipped over. A little bit unfortunate. It's just too many cars. The car rolled on the inside while I was rolling um, on the outside and the car in the middle had nowhere to go and I got tipped over. A little bit unfortunate, my race lasted a lap and a bit, but uh, there we go. That's, uh, that's what can what can happen with uh, with this kind of thing. I mean, you see here the car struggling so much, trying to get the power down out of this final corner. You go on the power too soon, you turn too tightly too soon, and you're going to roll the vehicles. And as I said, the bouncing wasn't as big of a problem as we have seen with some jelly vehicles, but uh, the leader gets caught out. The car just tries to swap sides. I mean, he gets stuck in the middle of the road. That's a really bad place to get stuck. Fortunately, there weren't too many cars plowing in behind him. But uh, yeah, the car just, just got a bounce on it, just kind of bucked from side to side and uh, that caused him no end of, uh, of problems. There was some surprisingly close racing, despite the vehicle's tendency to go on their side. That was a ridiculous two-wheeled moment from the green car. That really well saved. That was so far onto its side. Unfortunately, his great save then gets uh, spun around and put in the wall. I think the blue car may have got caught on a puddle uh, going down that uh, that start finished right and then as we come up towards turn one we've got there was so many spectacular saves turn one is so difficult here because it drops away and goes downhill it's so so easy for the car to go yep i want to be on two wheels now and if it does go on two wheels you try and save it you're going to end up in the gravel trap on the outside and you saw how much time this blue car lost being out there admittedly it's better than being out of the race but it was all for nothing as they come around turn two blue cars up and over trying to get the power too soon and the gray car that was behind him does exactly the same thing and you can see See the collection of out cars gradually grow uh, around the course of the lap. As I said, in between cars falling over, there was some quite close racing, and while most of the overtakes came from cars dropping out or crashing out, to be precise, there were still some few genuine overtakes. There's a white car in the background, gets a long, long way on two wheels. This yellow car, he sees a gap, he goes for the gap at the final turn. I mean, that's a fairly sensible overtaking place. Uh, if you can get a better run out of that final turn, get your car up the inside. And yeah, while both of the cars were trying to pick up on three wheels, he got the move done, and second place then hits that puddle on the inside that drags the car around. I mean, there's still the puddles are still a danger as they are with normal racing. Unfortunately, his lead lasted all of a corner. And now the, <laughs> the yellow car scrapes his way down through that turn one, and he's out of the race, losing the lead to <laughs> those cars again. 
Yeah, you could not be too too vigorous with the steering. You've got to be super, super smooth. I mean, <laughs> you see this car here is having to dodge cars as they flip and roll their way across the track. And of course, in a racing situation, if you're just hot lapping it on your own, it is one thing, but in a racing situation, you're trying to catch the cars ahead and you just try to carry that too much speed. And again, we see this car, it was just asking a little bit too much of it. And it doesn't take that, that much, of a, uh, much of a problem to have the car tumble on you when you're pushing it in this, uh, in this racing situation. Uh, yeah, again, you can see the crowd of cars was gathering. Uh, <laughs> down here as the race progressed there were fewer and fewer cars still running the leader well he overcooked it uh, coming through turn three and that was an it was a fairly slow speed roll that one but that left just three cars still running as we came up towards the end of the race uh, we saw this car ha have a big moment he dropped back was trying to do his best to catch up to the lead pair second place has a huge moment coming down turn one second spins but uh, he can get away with that whereas thirds yeah that was a big roll uh, on his way down the hill he was just pushing it that little bit too hard and at the front it was a white delta that would go on to take victory only two cars would finish this race that equals our worst uh, finishing record we had two cars finish at a maple valley race with some pickup trucks however percentage wise is there are far more cars in this race to start with yeah this is the fewest number of vehicles to finish a race but that was the challenge it's uh, it was a case of if you push the cars too much you were going to get them to uh, to roll over so you had to have an element of caution and the white lancia got it just right Race number two, we went to the Sebring Club Circuit. A few cars were going for the slow and steady approach. You see them diving out of the way, let the rest of the field sort of squabble, and they were hoping that they were going to take themselves out and roll over, as hopefully they could make their way through the field. Turn one here is not too bad on the whole rolling. Because it's such a slow hairpin, you tend not to have too much trouble getting the car. Of course, you can still roll it there, but it's much easier to keep control of them. The Puddle of Doom, well, that's fun with normal race cars, let alone with vehicles that handle like this. You could get away with it, and because it was a puddle, you didn't actually have too many issues of rolling the car there, but the puddle would often throw your car off the track, as you saw happen with me. I mean, this group of cars, there's just too many uncontrollable cars fighting over one piece of tarmac, ends up in the Martini car going round. But again, being spun round in a circle isn't terrible. You'd much rather have that than, well, than, of course, rolling the vehicle and being out of the race. You can deal with being spun. So, yeah, unfortunate but he was still uh, in with a chance of making his way through the field. As I said, you know, there was still some 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 close racing in, in some of the corners. I had a big dive on the red car ahead of me that couldn't quite get it stopped. The black car ahead of our group had a dive at the vehicle ahead of him, didn't quite make that one stick. And that red vehicle running wide has opened the door for another car to come flying through. And this group, this was all for the lead. These lot were, we were all really quite close after this first lap and far fewer cars. No one had rolled at this point. Unfortunately, that was all about to change as I got incredibly unlucky. I thought I got it dealt around the corner, but I just get a hop, and that hop launches the side of my car up into the air. That is a very unfortunate roll. As I tumble out, I get, I get stuck in a really bad place as well. My car was quite broken. I was frantically trying to get the revs to get it off the track. I just couldn't. In the background, you see a car going for a far more spectacular roll. <laughs> so many cartwheels from him, and I could not get my car to move. Eventually, I get the revs to, to fire it backwards. Yeah, I was very unfortunate. I'd actually made it around the turn, but it was the bounce from the suspension that put me over. Yeah, it, it is one of those things that can happen with... Uh, with a car like these. Yeah, a little bit disappointed by that one, but uh, there we go. We're further back while all of that was going on, a uh, red car goes for a spin and scares the crap out of the car that we're following. He's off the road, but uh, again, he's safe once he's in the grass, not going to have the grip to roll, whereas this blue car has just tried to hold too much speed around that particular turn, and he's tumbled over and is out of the race as well. This was the lead group as we came on to uh, lap two. So the big number of cars here, we're all together the top five were very very close on track unfortunately this was unlikely to last for for too long it's side by side up towards the puddle of doom that's bravery bravery going side by side up towards here the car in second gets it all wrong across the uh, the puddle he gets fired into the wall and while he doesn't roll damage was on simulation so you have a crash like that and your car is going to be uh, to be hurting the leader was playing it super risky they're long way on two wheels for the leader I and mean, the, the car in second here is now under a huge amount of pressure from the vehicle behind but that wasn't to last for very long. Just 
trying to carry that little bit too much speed and it is so so easy to get carried away when you're right underneath the vehicle ahead you're just trying to take that little bit more little bit more corner speed than him to try and get the pass done and it all goes spectacularly wrong so it was now a three car battle for the uh, lead yet took half a lap to uh, whittle it down to three cars and then the leader well he was trying too hard around the final turn and he's over and out of it yep the uh, the epic battle at the front i mean if you're going to go out of the race from leading you might as well make it spectacular so well done for that but uh, it then became two that were <laughs> fighting at the uh, the front of the field yeah you've, you've got to really know the limits of what these cars can do and again we see the track it's just, gradually the, the cars littering the track the numbers increase and increase second place here pushed it a lot over the puddle of doom yet you can sometimes get away with going out wide there if you can get the car uh, all under control again it's not an ideal line certainly if you have your car on the grass trying to break down for that next corner that can often end in uh, in disaster but he got away with it uh, all through there but he too has a big problem catches the initial roll but it's the transfer as he goes back onto the other side that uh, the glance you just can't deal with and it's too much that drops second place out of the uh, out of the race there was uh, yeah the, the casualties were were starting to mount in uh, in this one the field was uh, it was doing a bit better than at brands hatch but yeah the numbers were mounting this green car has perhaps the most spectacular of, uh, of saves almost uh, there's a little bit of confusion if the cars went on their side like that then that was okay you could carry on if you skidded on your side to count as a roller car had to go on to its uh, roof you did get going again but uh, yeah that was uh, that was a lucky one got a lucky bounce off of the grass uh, with the one of the black lances out of contention this now became the battle for second this group really tightened up but admittedly, the groups tended to only stay tight briefly as the car in second goes for a spin, the car in third goes for a tumble, and the White Lancia that won race one would promote himself up into second. And you can see how cautious some of these cars are becoming as the laps ticked away. No, that's, re <laughs> that's being very cautious uh, on, on getting the power down just to make sure that you can make it to the finish and you've got to do that with these cars sometimes and uh, we see another this time the grey lancer here it just kind of bounces up onto three wheels at uh, the completely the wrong point that's not a point you want to have the car going on three wheels across the puddle of doom the car that was chasing him down hits a puddle under braking and he's in all sorts of trouble not that it really matters for the red lancer as the car we're following again is just trying to make that little bit of a gap back to the car behind tries to take too much speed and he tumbles out of the race on the final lap uh, these these guys were fighting over now what was second place between the Blue Lancia and the white car as they round turn one. The Blue Lancia does a really good job of managing to keep that around the outside and now you've got to have the bravery to try and floor it. You've got to have the bravery to try and keep that to get that power down as soon as possible even with the car tripoding around as they go across the puddle there's a little bit of a bump between the pair of them. The Blue Lancia coming off worse here. He's on the grass but on the grass it's very difficult to roll the cars in the wet so he can get it back under control. Does a really good job of uh, getting the car sorted for the next corner whereas the red car behind does neither does the white Lancia that outbreaks himself so the blue car finds him up into second place and it's the same corner again that <laughs> would get this Lancia it's just too much speed too much speed through that change of direction I mean that's uh, that's claimed three of the uh, the high positioning cars at that turn and all of them when they've been in close in close proximity to other vehicles just pushing that little bit too hard and it was the black lancia that would go on to take victory uh, by the end of the race well it is slightly better than the first race three cars finished uh, this time around yeah the black lancia would take victory the uh, the white lancia that won round one would come second and the uh, the red lancia it came third in the first race uh, sorry it came second in the first race would come third in uh, in this race so pretty consistent from them two guys oh also the ai's yeah they can't drive these deltas at all the, <laughs> the second the ai takes control of the victor of, of the victor's car if you like it instantly rolls it so there we go before our final race well for a really tough challenge we went to the nurburgring one lap one lap of the Nürburgring. There was quite a lot of talk of no cars finishing. There was kind of an expectation of coming here that no vehicles would finish this one without rolling. It was certainly going to be tough. There are so many fast, so many long corners, just so many corners in general for cars to get into trouble, for vehicles to roll over. The puddles, though, were the first thing that caused issues. There's about three cars. There's another fourth one uh, would end up in the uh, wall first victim didn't last particularly long and it was a sorry race for him going out within the first sort of 45 seconds uh, I think he probably got it on that big curb along there uh, either way yeah it 
it is very, very easy. Very easy through this section to get the cars uh, incredibly unhappy. As you know, we've got quite long corners here. There's water to be worrying about, huge curbs to be worrying about. It was, yeah, mistakes were very easy to uh, to come by. And still, though, regardless of the fact that we're in jelly lanciers, there's still, there's still racing drivers still going too wide everywhere they can. <laughs> A couple more cars having huge problems with these puddles. And if you do get these cars stuck on the puddles, because they are not exactly nice handling cars, very, very tough to get them back off the puddles again. And that could get you in as much trouble as having the cars on two wheels. Uh, in all honesty, I was going for the safe option here. I was determined not to roll out of this uh, final race. The leader who got past me and had vanished up the road. He was absolutely going for it. I was being a bit more cautious. I wanted to finish this one. That was my main goal. But uh, I was now in the big battle over second place. And you just can't help but slightly race the cars around you. Unfortunately, I hit a puddle big time. I had to slam on the brakes to try and not lose control of my car. The black Lancia did a great job of avoiding me, and the red car made up both of the positions, did really well to get his car through the middle there at high speed <laughs> in the pouring rain, and then proceeds to play it very risky with the cornering. That's another, that is a huge way on to two wheels. I'm not sure quite which car has been the furthest on two wheels and recovered, because there, there are so many of them. Like, trying to edit all of this together, trying to find, uh, you know, see which bit has the best action because there was so much going on and so many people fighting for control and doing spectacular saves with uh, with their deltas i find myself in fourth at, uh, at this stage and it's yeah it's so tough to stop yourself from going into sort of full-on attack mode trying to overtake the cars ahead of you but you've got to be careful you can't run into these corners too hard because you can see you know you see the opportunity as a car ahead gets things a little bit wrong but if you try and pounce on that there's a very good chance you're going to end up in a lot of trouble and in the end second place pushes it too hard he goes over unfortunately kind of ends up in the middle of the road and i get slightly tangled up in uh, in that roll doesn't do any damage to my car but uh, yeah, I kind of get caught up. That's another bad place to have a roll because it's around a completely blind corner. People were doing a really good job though of uh, getting their cars off track as uh, as best they could. Yeah, this was quite a dangerous corner for vehicles in general. Whenever there's with these big elevation changes and big bumpy curbs for the cars, not just the rolling of the vehicles. You could really upset the vehicles uh, just with the suspension bouncing uh, bouncing around there. So yeah, I was again, I, I was dropping a little bit back through the fields. I think I was about in fourth place at this time. But again, it was it was just a case of don't roll the car. I was being caught by this red Lancia through that section. I was quite cautious, as was the car ahead of me at, uh, at this point. The red Lancia though was going for it and went for it a little bit too hard across a curb. That one was more caused with the grass, I think. It kind of slid perhaps across the grass, the curb, the suspension all coming together to have a big, big roll. We get a little bit of first person at the end there. One camera wanted to focus on the helicopter. Yeah, the, the just the bouncing around across some of the bumps as we see another car struggling on the brakes were, were causing some issues. The leader, as I said, from the start, he got a huge lead. Not sure if he made a mistake or whether he just sort of backed things off a little bit to, uh, yeah, to, to sort of make sure that he was safe. He got caught as we came up towards the uh, carousel. It was now quite a close fight between uh, first and second place. Quite a big gap back to third and uh, me in fourth at this stage because, yeah, we were just taking it that little bit safer. And in the end, the leader, well, he tried to carry too much speed through the carousel and got it up onto two wheels and just couldn't save it in time. And all of that hard work, all of the huge lead that he'd, be, he'd built up undone in one <laughs> one slight mistake. Uh, he, again, does well get his car off the road while the rest of us are, um, are, 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 are much further back. They had a really big lead, but... Uh, you know, that's, that's the risk versus reward thing. You go full out attack mode with these cars and you run the risk of toppling the vehicles over. Yeah, I had to drop back. I'd got caught out by a puddle uh, further down and involved, tangled up with a few other cars that also got caught out by uh, by puddles. And these puddles were causing, or uh, proving to be an awful lot of, uh, of trouble as this yellow car finds out, carries a lot of speed onto one of them. He gets turned around by the puddle and flipped into the wall. I managed to rescue my car, uh, but I go for a spin on that one. That was a horrible puddle there. I just completely didn't realize it was there and that is what we found a lot of cars found this puddle a lot of the cars that had made it this far had uh, had issues here as we see the next group of cars that came to the section the red lancia he's round in a circle the white lancia behind doesn't get spin round and doesn't end up in the wall quite as badly as the yellow car but there's the yellow stricken lancia so yeah the uh, the white vehicle there has uh, suffered a little bit in uh, in that particular collision 
I continued my uh, my nice safe strategy and while yeah I wasn't as quick as the cars ahead I uh, wasn't rolling over as this blue vehicle that was trying to chase me down uh, it just took again is that too much speed you're trying to chase down the car ahead of you you're trying to make the most of the vehicles and you kind of turn in and you feel like oh I've got enough grip to do that and then it doesn't quite work and then we have a bunny hop to get the uh, <laughs> Lancia are out of the way. Yeah, it was very, very easy to make mistakes like that. Now, there were some guys that in this final race were trying to go for the uh, the slow and steady approach. The the theory being that all of us a lot at the front were probably going to end up pushing our cars too hard and go for a roll. After you all, you'd seen the number of vehicles that had fallen out. Only, uh, well, only two vehicles had finished the first race. So by going for this slow and steady approach, you're guaranteed to finish. The hope was, of course, though, that the cars ahead were all going to roll. And unfortunately, by taking this, this slow approach you end up so far back from the vehicles ahead if they don't have a roll well yeah you're kind of in a little bit of trouble so while these cars were still circulating uh, further back they were effectively keeping out of keeping out of trouble uh, they were just too far back if we didn't have any accidents at the front and let's face it we rolled one of these at 15 miles an hour so even circulating like this there was still some danger if you weren't too careful uh, through the corners however the leader didn't make any more uh, any 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 mistakes really didn't get have the car onto onto two wheels so yeah the cars that went for the, the slow approach were unable to, uh, to to really make the most of it is that is there were enough of us up ahead that were pushing a bit harder but we're still managing to keep the cars on the road and there's a speed that that black lancia took through that corner i would not have gone I, I didn't go for that much speed certainly not when you've only got a few quarters to go until the line because that is a, is a very fast corner it was very easy to have the Lancia roll over on you however as we round the final turn a little bit of two and three wheel action uh, around there the Black Lancia would take victory in the second and the third race uh, yeah it was more cars finished this one a lot more cars finished this one as we were slightly more aware of the dangers of, uh, of Nürburgring. This white Lancia, we saw it get tangled up with the uh, yellow car after the yellow car went for a roll. So this guy had, I'm guessing, some serious engine damage, was really lacking in the uh, the straight line speed department. I think this was over about fifth place. And uh, yeah, he wasn't quite too keen on giving up that position just yet. He decided to go for bravery into the final quarters. And I applaud the bravery because it's on two wheels up the inside of the other Lancia, but it's two wheels on the dirt and that doesn't quite work in getting the car stopped. <laughs> end ends up in the tyre bundle gets it going again and I believe he would finish but uh, yeah I, I applaud the efforts just didn't quite didn't quite make it stick more cars finished this one uh, I think it was yeah I think it was about five or six cars that uh, that finished Nürburgring because we were aware of the dangers aware of the challenges of, uh, of such a track and there was yeah more of us being cautious I got a podium in uh, in that one came home in third which uh, yeah wasn't uh, wasn't too bad at all but these Deltas, they are so much fun. It was an awful, awful lot of fun, i got to say, racing these cars. It, just looking in your rearview mirror as all the cars tumbled around you was spectacular. A, a huge amount of fun. The races didn't last particularly long, and we didn't have a huge number of finishers, but uh, they, it was certainly a spectacle to uh, to be a part of. If you want to download the tune for this vehicle, it's currently on my share front. If you uh, search my game tag, or you search for, I think it's called Fail Race Jelly, on the uh, on the description for a uh, Lancia Delta S4, you can download this tune, have a play around with it yourself. It's it's a huge amount of fun. Get a few of these in a lobby together and go racing. It's uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. Of course, set it in the rain to make sure the cars roll over. But uh, yeah, huge amounts of fun in the Delta, and surprisingly close racing and an awful lot of tumbles. Uh, anyway, that is it for this uh, video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.